What's up, girl bosses? I'm Margaret Thatcher. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap your nuts because it, it's Slipknot time. So that's those that's the connection. Give him a little little tap. Anyways, so this is the dying song. Time to sing. La la la. Lovely, lovely. Time to sing. Time to sing. Time to cheer. Merry Christmas to all this year. Ooh, bars. Uh, we'll last for the Chapel Town rag, which, in my opinion, not my favorite Slipknot song. I feel like they've done better. Their last album. Ooh, 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 really, really good stuff. I feel like the last album, they also uh, dropped uh, a single way ahead of their album announcement. Honestly, like, I think before the album was even completed. And it was all right. But then the album turned out to be really good. Really love Solway Firth. Uh, but I feel like they're doing that again, right? Chapel Town Rag, not their best song. And they were still in the writing process, so they may have taken the feedback that they got from that song to help shape this album, their upcoming album, now it's announced September 30th, the end so far. Does that mean they're done? I don't know. I don't know. They've had a long career, a good career. Uh, you know, if they t throw in the towel, it might be time. It might be time. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, uh, love Slipknot. Seen them twice live. Love them. Really great band. Shape my childhood. Shape my childhood. So they're near and dear to my heart. I'm really hoping if this is their last album, you know, it's it's they go out with a bang. They go out with a bang. Looking forward to this. This is the dying song time to sing. Before we get into it, really appreciate if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Check out my project Sunscorch. Just dropped a single, Death is Destined, featuring Alan of Distant. Let's get it. Social media links in the description down below. This is an interesting opening. <laughs> Oh, that made no sense at first. Okay, ghost. Put your hands into the water. Let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now. Let them sing till you die. die. This is really familiar. It's like it sounds like we've heard it before. Okay, that's nice. Oh, a little creepy. A cool dissonance there too. Liking that flow. Nice progression. Oh, Jimbo! 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 There's Jimbo. Ooh. Nice palm muting. Dude, that bass is gorgeous. Holy shit. Little Jimbo solo. Nah, not quite actually. Oh yeah. Yo, spin moves. What is he 
I like how Clown will hit this like fucking steel drum once and they just sort of running around for the rest of the song. What? No. Well, there's an awkward amount of time left. I will say, better than the Chapel Town Rag. But it's still not quite uh, cohesive there. Uh, their last album, it felt like they had really smooth moments, especially like, again, Solway Firth. Really, really do like that song. Even, um, what was it, All Out Life? I think that was the single uh, that introduced that they were working on new stuff. And that one, people didn't really like that one that much. But like, looking back on it, it's like a very cohesive piece. It's a very smooth piece. And it's a pretty sick song. Uh, here, I felt like, you know, the chorus was really what popped. But some of the verses, they felt a little bit like recycled material. And I don't know if this is just me, but was the mixing on the guitars a little strange? It felt a little strange. They felt uh, like they had like no, there was no at low end or something. It felt like there was like something missing, but also at the same time and listen to a lot of deathcore. Maybe I'm, I'm tainted. I'm corrupt. Uh, so I don't know. I'm, I'm a little worried about this album, to be honest. Like it's not, it's not a bad song. It's better than the Chapel Town Rag, in my opinion. Uh, but I don't know if it fully delivered more on the heavy side. It felt more cohesive than the Chapel Town Rag. It uh, had a really nice chorus that really flowed well, really nice progressions there. But then a lot of like the verses felt a little bit like filler. Uh, or more so the heavy riffs. Like, obviously, it's Slipknot. But I feel like, you know, they've proven that they're more capable than this. I, I feel like the, the verses could have been, like, a little more punchy. Uh, just, it didn't feel, like, very memorable, in my opinion. Chorus, though, chorus, I feel like, is the highlight of the song. Uh, curious to hear what you guys think of this track. Of course, Slipknot. What album is this? Is this their, like, this is their seventh, right? It's funny, like, Korn and Slipknot are on the same album cycle. Uh, I think 2019. But not last album, Korn's last album. Korn slayed that album. Material Gorals, am I right? Uh, and ooh, one of my favorites that Korn's ever released. This year, uh, the last Korn album, it was pretty good. It wasn't the, their best work, I'll, I gotta be honest. But it was pretty soon after uh, that last album. It was a short one too. I think there's only 10 songs on that album. What's it called? The Forgotten? No, it's called Requiem. It's called Requiem. Uh, but yeah, S Slipknot's 2019 album also, you know, hit it out of the park. But you know, this year, Korn was all right. It was all right. And um, I'm a little worried that Slipknot will also be all right. But you know, have to wait and see September 30th. We're gonna find out. Curious to hear your thoughts? Comment them down below. Love checking your comments. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. I'm Margaret Thatcher. I'm still, I'm coming for your balls.